Hi guys, it's a Dredden. I'm going to go over today the different uh, wounds that one can have and how to heal them. I'll also cover um, some of the crafting for the different medicines as well. And so to start off, we are going to go get ourselves wrecked. We're going to go get wrecked somewhere out there. So we're going to go fight a bunch of zombies. I'm going to do it in god mode so that I can actually live through all these um, painful things that happen because <laughs> my god it's gonna hurt um, and then we'll come back here and fix ourselves up all right I'll see you for a few seconds in a fight and then we'll be back here okay here they all come got a bunch of meat on my person so that uh, we can take some stuff okay so we're bruised we have a well, our, our leg is still splinted, but I'm sure they're going to break it. Pain. A small wound. What are you guys doing? Come on. Get in on this here. Hi, Arlene. Alright, bleeding out. That's awesome. Okay, now you can hear that uh, I'm also stunned. Mm, a bite. There we go. That's the good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to break some legs so that you can break my leg. Ew. Let's uh let's break your leg here. Uh, da -da. Alright, I've got so many zombies on me, they're like literally on me. Um, yeah, so they have all but broken my leg. Um, I guess I can break my own leg just to demonstrate. But um, yeah, this is kind of horrifying. So, uh, at this point they've pretty much done all of the, the worst that they can. Actually, maybe I'll summon in a couple wasps as well so we can uh, watch that as well. Just a sec. Okay, a quick trick to the hub city. I'm sure there's going to be some wasps here. Okay, so we have two wasps trapped in this building. Well, let's do oh, three of them. Is this like a hive or something? That's pretty cool. Um, can you guys come get me? Let's get ourselves some, some venom here. Let's uh, punch you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, and what about your friend here? Come on, we need some uh, infections here. Okay, guys, we are back. And, yes, yeah, so we have all these problems. Uh, let's see, the probably the biggest ones to worry about is probably the bite. Uh, I was bleeding out. If you're bleeding out, of course, you just have to use a bandage. Uh, and a bandage is pretty simple. You just need some cloth. It's always good to have a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, you use your bandage, use, and then that'll cure you of your terrible bleeding out. Um, okay, next though, we have a number of other crazy things. Pain. So, minus one stamina every five seconds. Uh, Core temperature increased by 14%, and we need painkillers to get rid of those, so we use the painkillers. That will help with the pain. Um, gash. You have a large gash in your skin, and you will need to use a suture to close it. So it lasts a long time, like a day. Uh, minus stamina every 3 seconds, minus health every 15 seconds. And core temperature decreased by 36. Okay, so I'm going to go suture. Be right back. Okay, so then we just use our suture. And that will turn that into something else. I don't know. <laughs> I've got so many ailments right now. Uh, it's pretty terrible. Okay, so for the bite. Uh, that's a good one. Let's see here. Uh, bites are pretty terrible. They take a really long... That's the wrong thing. Take a long time to heal. 
Um, let's see here. I probably need some more wood, but that's all right. Anyways, so you put a little bit of wood in, you have your red hot pipe, and or you have a, a short iron pipe, and then you craft it in here to create a red hot iron pipe, and that will um, heal the bite wound. Where is it? Bite. Yeah. So you need one of those, steel or no iron, uh, minus stamina every five seconds, minus health every 30 seconds. You were bitten, you must carter carterize the wound soon, or you will die of the Z virus. Or Z virus, depending on where you guys live. So let's do this. Uh, craft. Be right back. And over here, we'll get our red hot pipe. Okay. And then we will use this thing to cure. Actually, let's do it out here so that you can watch it go away. So the bite. And it hurts. It hurts a lot to do that. Okay, so I have all kinds of terrible things. Um, <laughs> broken legs, of course, everyone knows about broken legs. We just use a splint, bam, splint used. All right, sutures, like sewing needles and stuff, uh, suture kit, you just need uh, sutures and a sewing needle, sewing needles and stuff you can kind of come across uh, in the world and I'm guessing they're actually also a medicine thing. One sec. Yeah, so it looks like you just have to come across them. If, if the, I'm wrong about that, someone let me know. I'll correct it. Uh, okay. Infected wound. Let's take a look at that guy. Infected wound. Your wound has gone infected. Treat it with a sanitized bandage and be sure to change it when it gets dirty or you could die. And this is actually um, a really bad one. I've been playing around with it and you, you really have to watch the uh, bandage condition um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know exactly it seems semi random but I don't know every time you think about that wound you should probably change the bandage I don't know <laughs> it's kind of terrible uh, so right we can use sanitizing bandages first aid kit or a large first aid kit I'm just gonna use uh, sanitizing bandages which is uh, done here with the grain alcohol and the bandage. So yes, yeah, so, so I don't know, just craft one. So then we use that, and this should get rid of our infected wound. And let's go. Okay, awesome. So now we have a bandaged bite, a bandaged leg, a splinted leg. Okay, and so now we have bio infections, uh, which is pretty terrible. Your injury has become infected with the stage one infection. Uh, at this point can use honey, antibiotic, or herbal antibiotic. Um, let's just look some of these up. Of course, honey is pretty easy, and antibiotic you're going to have to find or make, but let's take a look. Okay, so for the herbal antibiotic, you're going to need some hanging moss, mushrooms, chrysanthemum, nitrate powder, and zinc powder. Um, for the uh, antibiotic, you're going to need four moldy bread, five nitrate powder, bottled water and mixed chemicals and mixed chemicals come from the chemical station okay so we also are gonna, uh, I'm gonna need to get the uh, herbal antibiotic recipe which my guess is you're just gonna have to find around the world uh, I've always found them in treasure chests uh, but they're probably around other places as well so we read that ah we also need a mortar and pestle Okay, so here's the recipe for a mortar and pestle, which you'll need to uh, make one. Okay, so it turns out the mortar and pestle uh, require calipers, thus meaning that they are going to be a, a forge item. And so I'm just going to melt down the requisite things to make that. Okay, so yes, if you have your forge, and you have the mortar and pestle, you can create them. So let's create our mortar and pestle now. Okay, so our mortar and pestle are done. And so we're gonna turn this off. Yeah, so it isn't in the fireplace at all. It's gonna be in the chemistry station. Here we go, let's put this in there. Chrysanthemum, hanging moss, nitrate powder, zinc powder, mortar pestle, uh, mushroom, and that's it. Let's make our anti herbal antibiotics. For a dirty bite, 
Uh, let's take a look at that in here. Here we go. Your bite is dirty and is starting to smell. Change it with another bandage soon, or it will, could get infected. So you could use all these different things, and this is where it starts to get really. Uh, you have to really stay on it, otherwise it'll get bad. So I don't know. Let's use a first aid bandage this time. Bandaged wounds, blinted leg, anti venom. Uh, first aid effect from the first aid bandage and by bioinfection. So the bioinfection might be curable now. One minute. See you guys in one minute. Okay, so yeah, once we have cured this bioinfection, we will be off to the races. Um, and otherwise, these wounds you really just have to keep an eye on them and make sure that you use your different bandages and even your first aid kits, you know, to get rid of the dirty bandage. But it's, it's a good idea to just keep changing it every now and then so that the effect keeps going. Otherwise, it'll go dirty and it'll take 11 hours to, to heal. And yeah, that's not great. Okay, there's our herbal antibiotics. Boom. And let's use that. Good. Starting to feel better. Okay, let's take a look at our venom poisoning. Uh, for this, we're going to need an anti-venom. So that hornet that stung you, or all of them that stung me, with his venom and poisoned you, now you will need to find or make some anti-venom or you will die. To make an antivenom, you will need to kill a hornet and harvest its venom glands and then cook it with some alcohol on the fire. Okay, cool. So, let's do this. Okay, for the antivenom, you're going to need a venom sack, so you're going to actually have to kill some wasps and uh, use your bladed weapon to harvest some of these, and green alcohol. Okay, guys, for the green alcohol, it's actually a bit thing here. It is over in here and you need to get your engineering up to level 10. Um, so yes, you're going to have to craft a bunch of traps and whatnot to get that up. And uh, so I'm just going to buy it just to show you. And then uh, we need our grain alcohol. Yeah, see, engineering level 10. So it's, it's actually a little trickier than I you know, would have suspected but makes sense for this mod. So then you have to buy it. Then we can go over to the chemistry station. Okay, I don't know how this is made. I've been to every workstation I've got. I've even been carrying this around with me just to see. Uh, I guess you're just gonna have to find them in the, the world for now. Uh, someone let me know and I will put a little uh, update on here about how the heck to get these? Maybe it's just broken. Anti-venom beaker required, but we have no fuel in this thing, so let's just get some fuel. Okay, anti-venom. It takes 30 seconds. So, we'll come back to that. Let's see if we can cure our venom poisoning. Uh, let's see, so we'll use that. And it seems to be gone. Okay, okay, what else can we do? We're going to need to potentially do some antibiotics. Okay, so for antibiotics you need moldy bread, nitrate powder, bottled water, and mixed chemicals. So you're just going to have to get this off of the zombies. Bottled water is easy. Nitrate powder should be in caves. And mixed chemicals is an interesting one. Requires a venom sack. We still have some. Grain alcohol, well, we got a bit of that. A large bone, well, kill something and take its bones. Zinc powder, break a rock. Okay, so mixed chemicals, you're gonna need to learn the skill, and so let's find that. Okay, I've looked at the recipes, and I don't see a mixed chemicals, so I'm not sure, and it didn't come with becoming a doctor, so I don't really know where it is, but my guess is these are gonna show up somewhere in the world. Maybe at a pop-in pills. 
someone should let me know about that. I'll let everybody else know. Okay, so now we can craft our antibiotics. It requires a motor and pestle, but we've already done that. It takes about a minute. Okay, here's our antibiotic. Let's move it all the way down here. Yeah, and, uh, whatever. I mean, you know how to use an antibiotic. Just to bam. Oh, there's our dirty bandage, so we need to change it. Let's actually take a quick look at it for you guys here. Dirty bandage. Your bandage is dirty and starting to smell. Change it uh, with another sanitized bandage soon, or you could die. So you need a sanitized bandage. And it's uh, going to probably take, yeah, 11. 0.9 hours to heal. Pretty terrible. You need to really keep an eye on those and change your bandages a lot. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much everything relating to health things. Uh, first aid kits. We can go over that real quick. Uh, first aid kits. Uh, you're going to need a bunch of stuff. First aid. And I think you actually need to be a doctor. I might be wrong. But, okay, yeah, so you're going to need a blood bag, grain alcohol, bandage, one lead car battery, and a short iron pipe. Takes a few seconds. And when you use it, it ends up producing a dead battery, which you can then recharge in the workbench if you have the appropriate skills, uh, which I do not. But we can go look up battery. And we need one, but we need an electric wire. Okay, yeah, so it, it's here. And so, yeah, you can then take this, turn it into a recharged battery. Let's just let that go. At any rate, you'll just return you a battery when you're done. And there's that. We'll have to cover electricity and steam turbines later. But that's how that's done. To buy the first aid uh, recipe, you're going to need 10 points of medicine. You're going to need 5 points of medicine to get the first aid bandage. And so it's going to take a little while to do that. Mm. So you're probably going to have to use a whole bunch of band-aids and splints to be able to do that. I don't even know how many it would take, but so I'm already level 3 and I've used a lot of bandages trying to heal some of these wounds up. Which reminds me, I should bandage this wound again. Okay. So that is the basics of medicine. Uh, if you liked this tutorial, uh, give the video a like. Um, subscribe if you want more. And I will see you guys out there. Leave any comments. Uh, that you think are relevant and yeah have fun